a very interesting recent discovery is that everybody at the age of 80, starting at age 60, has a few pre-leukemic cells in their blood. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia is very, very rare in Asia, frequent in uh, Western countries, but very rare in China and Japan. It can turn into um, a state where the white blood cell count is very high, like several hundred thousand per cubic millimeter. Normal it would be 10,000. He will get a first hint that something is wrong by doing blood counts and maybe an X-ray and maybe a CT scan, scan of your lymph nodes, of your organs, and then he would refer you to a specialist. The first thing that the specialist will do is probably a bone marrow, which takes a few minutes, 10 minutes procedure. And after two or three days, he will get a report back. Uh, today, we are not just looking at these cells in a microscope. Today, we are also looking at mutations, at gene abnormalities, because that will give us a very good idea how to treat. 20 years ago, um, we started very effective chemotherapy. And in the last few years, we are away from chemotherapy and we have excellent results now with what's called targeted therapy. So we have three different drugs now that target particular molecules in these leukemias the treatment is very well tolerated, much better than chemotherapy, and probably much more effective before patients had very low white counts, from high white count to low white count from chemotherapy, because the chemotherapy also killed normal cells that we need to fight infections, uh, or cells that make platelets that we need to not bleed, or cells that make hemoglobin, red cells, we need this to carry oxygen. Chemotherapy does not distinguish between these different cells. But our targeted therapy is almost, not quite, but almost specific for the leukemic cells. So we have much less side effects. Patients are doing much, much better and tolerated better while they are being treated. They don't have to stop working with some adjustments, of course. Um, so this is different now what it was five and ten years ago. The FDA has approved at least nine or ten new drugs in the last three years and they're all effective and we are learning how to best combine these different drugs. So that is helpful and it's good because we don't use maybe chemotherapy so much. Some patients still need chemotherapy but um, over time, the number gets smaller and the more specific treatments become more um, used. So blood cancer is a term that we don't use actually. Um, we break the system into leukemias and lymphomas and myeloma. So the difference is leukemias are really in the blood and bone marrow while lymphomas are in lymph nodes, in the spleen and other organs. And myeloma is again a disease of the bone marrow. So these are the three big categories of code blood cancers. And then we can distinguish between acute and chronic. So acute leukemias are very dramatic. Uh, they develop over many years, but the patients do not know that and suddenly their blood counts get really bad. They may develop fever uh, because their white cells are down or they develop um, bleeding because their platelets are down or they develop excessive fatigue because their red cells are down. Then there are lymphomas. Lymphomas are cancers of the lymph nodes. So they're manifested by swelling of lymph nodes here on your neck or spleen uh, or other lymph nodes inside the body. There are again many different types 
and we have specific treatments now for these lymphomas. Uh, many of them can be cured, 60% or more of patients can be cured. And myeloma is another bone marrow uh, malignancy cancer, um, which uh, has also seen huge improvement in cure rates, acute leukemia. There are two different kinds. One is called acute myeloid leukemia, one is called acute lymphoid leukemia. The lymphoid leukemias are more uh, prevalent, frequent in children, and the myeloid leukemias more in adults. So leukemias, we still don't know what causes them. Um, we know that radiation causes leukemia. Certain chemicals cause leukemias. Uh, benzene causes leukemias, for sure. And uh, I think fertilizers that's used in agriculture can cause lymphomas. So we know these things for a long time, um, but there must be more. Uh, our environment is full of chemicals and plastics that have never been tested. So there is nothing really in particular uh, that you can do to prevent these cancers. Part of it is old age. So a very interesting recent discovery is that everybody at the age of 80, starting at age 60, has a few pre-leukemic cells in their blood. Very low frequency, very difficult to detect. If there is another hit, then these cells can develop into cancer. If there's any suspicion of a blood cancer, you have to go to a specialist who makes a correct diagnosis. So it's really important in the beginning to make a good diagnosis, to get the best workup, and then everything follows from there.